Previously on Scandalcrest. Hi, your secretary Roger let me in. Is that so? You know, there's nothing more than working with the Boy Scouts that I love and seeing my brother, the Big Shot CEO. So how goes it? Better than the Boy Scouts, Pierce. <laughs> Don't be so sure about that. I'm sure about everything you know that I know. Yes, I know that. That's why you're running the company and I'm not. Yeah. Listen, let me ask you a question. Have you had any time to consider any of my proposals that you might bring them to the board? Like what, Pierce? Well, well, there's the Libyan condominium. The project. Libyan condominiums. Yes. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's a, that's a, that's a solid idea. You're a good kid. You're a great kid. Look, just because I'm younger than you, I'm Let me finish. <laughs> Your idea about the Libyan condominium sucks ass. You know, actually, There's a war in the Middle East. Actually, maybe you're right. We should switch to Iraq. You, huh? you wonder why you were dead set on choice. Well, if you think that I'm not happy teaching my improvisation classes, then you're wrong. Isn't it? <laughs> it's that. It's Mother. I know, I did it too. What's, what's wrong with you? My beautiful boys. Pierce. Laughs. I need you to be brave. I need you to be very brave. I have some terrible news. Remember how brave you were when you found out that there was no Easter Bunny? <laughs> it's bad. It involves your father and his blue corniche. You know how he loved that car. He loved that car. Loved, loved that car. <laughs> well, very sadly, today we found out over the bridge, into the water. Now, we don't have a body yet. <laughs> but I must tell you, I feel that your father is dead. <laughs> Also, previously on Scandalcrest. I'll have a wine straight up. <laughs> I'm glad that you came here because uh, this glass can be just fine. I love that glass. Primarily because you're holding it. I gotta say, we've been dating for three weeks now. This is true. And uh, you were just scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> I had a business trip that was a 12-hour drive, and I found you in the back of the trunk when I arrived. I, I thought that'd be fun, like, oh, you thought you brought luggage, you didn't, you brought me. What are you gonna wear? I guess me. <laughs> it's just getting a little too much, and there's something I need to tell you, and I need you to listen to every word I say. I'm what? Getting old. Every, did you take your medicine today? I did. <laughs> As the world turns, these are the days of our lives. And I only have one life to live. I'm and I am not being selfish here because me and you, we, we could have been the bold and the beautiful. We could have been. But now we're the young and the restless. And am I, I the young or the restless in that equation? Well, I pointed to you and I said restless. <laughs> listen, listen to me. I need to, I need to, I need to, what do I need to do? I need to find my passions and I need to follow my guiding light because all my children need to have a good education. And I can't do that working at the bank. How am I going to pay for that education? How am I going to pay for that education? With huh? money you take from the bank, you could embezzle it. No, I am not a criminal. Look, I'm just going to get straight to the point. Me and you cannot be together anymore. 
because I'm in love with someone else. <laughs> Still previously on Scandalcrest. <laughs> oh, hey, Ma, I was just at the cafe right over here. What, what are, you, are you smoking in the house? I have to smoke. It's all I can do to not drink. I, I have horrible, horrible news. Vincent Sterling is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta talk, Maxie. Hello, Lance. You're late. So is my girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Who's this guy? That's my henchman, Lance. Henchman? I prefer oh. the term business associate. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sal. And nice to meet you, Lance Mr. Sterling. Sterling. Yeah. I've heard many things. I'll bet many you have. Things. Thank you. I've heard many things about you, too. Really? No. That's not good. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, let's get down to it. I guess Tell me about the stock. I guess you're wondering why I'm here. Why would your rival just show up like this? Right, how crazy would that be? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm here, Lance, because I don't want to be rivals anymore. In fact, I want you to think of me as uh, a partner. Yeah, partner. I heard it. <laughs> and Sterling. We're buds. Keep your uh, friends close. Exactly. Yeah. And that's I'm why I'm falling for this shit. Well, let me tell you something about Sterling Enterprises. My father, Vincent, who recently went into a lake. <laughs> I heard about that. Sorry about that. It was tragic. I love the guy very much. I loved him like a uh, son. Actually, I was his son. So. <laughs> no, so now, no body. I know they didn't find a body, so how does that work? Is it going to be a. Uh, a picture. No, no, I think they have like an empty I don't casket. Know, there's like a truck or something, and they like drag. It's definitely a closed line. casket, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. They are, there, are there still six people holding? You put. You wouldn't need that many. It's light. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am sorry to hear about your loss. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. But, um... Well, you know, it's sort of like you, you you gain, you lose something, and and you gain something. Right, Sal? Yeah, yeah, you take some, you get some, you give some, sure, you, you give, get some you back. Take, it's you give good. and take, you give and sure, take. Sure, as you long as you end up with more in the end. You lost a dad. And you gained and some you. stock and some interest. Exactly. In Sterling Enterprises. You've heard. What Quite a bit we to do. Fact. You've heard of Well, here's what we should do. We should get used to each other. Because I am now the second biggest stockholder at Sterling. <laughs> given the fact that you're a raging alcoholic and managed to find gainful employment here hey. at my favorite watering hole. Hey, let me show you something. 
You see this? That's my chip. 30 days sober. <laughs> Congratulations, that's certainly something. It's a lot. I'm turning my life around. Oh, yeah. You're still gonna be living on our property in the guest house? Yeah, I'm still gonna be living there. Your kid's still gonna be mowing our lawn? Yeah. Wearing those tight shorts? <laughs> I wonder if you had any interest in joining the Boy Scouts. <laughs> you know, you're a pretty sassy broad, and I like it. Yeah? I like it a lot. Frankly, I gotta tell you something. I'm getting about as hot as Jerry Sandusky to pop Warner practice. <laughs> Are you now? Oh, yeah, yeah. What, do you think you can come in here and you can just buy your way into me? <laughs> I don't think that would require any money, now would it? No. <laughs> Look here. I I'm may have looking, been honey, a... I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> I may have been a tramp in the past. I'm kind of hoping you'll be one later tonight. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I got my standards. I got my dignity. You can't just think you can come in here and have your way with me because I have absolutely no self-esteem. <laughs> Desiree, if my time in the Peace Corps taught me anything, <laughs> the self-esteem is tremendously overrated. <laughs> They tell me in AA. <laughs> yeah. Well, they say they're 12 steps. What do you say I show you the first three? Why don't we take this little argument and take it back to the bedroom? Yeah. 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 What's in it for me? A lot, baby. A yeah. lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Romeo, very close though. Ah. <laughs> I just got done mowing all 46 acres with the push mower. How inconvenient that the riding one's always broken. <laughs> well, that's your department, dear. Did you finish walking the dogs? I did, I did. Did you use the new scooper? Yes. Oh, good. And you fertilized the garden? I did. Wonderful. Now, is there a reason you're here in my living room? Well, one is I, I really would like a wardrobe change when I mow the lawn, because Pierce gave me these shorts that are a little uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they kind of, they, they chafe because it's very me. hot. I'm, I'm, very, I'm <clears throat> terribly sorry. Um, wow, look at this picture that's prominently displayed that's here. That's my daughter, Ophelia. <laughs> wow. We're, uh, She's a beautiful girl. I'd rather you didn't touch this. Thank you. No, no, we're, uh, we're friends. We've been friends for... You know, two years since I've lived in the guest house. So. You and Ophelia are friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I doubt it, dear. <laughs> I'll just put it back here. Okay. There she is. Is this your other son? Uh, excuse me, darling. Uh, please. Oh, okay. Your hands are a little dirty from, from the scooper. Picking up the scoop scooper. Scooper, yeah. yes. Thank so, you. So please, yes, the shorts. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I have to do what, what Lance would like. Okay. Um... It's actually Pierce. Oh, yes. I, I apologize. I don't mean to Pierce be disrespectful. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I was just kind of wondering. I haven't seen uh, Ophelia in a while. No, uh, she's away boarding school in Switzerland. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's. Uh, yes, where all young debutantes go. <laughs> uh, do you know if uh, she's going to be back? Like anytime soon, or? I actually don't, and I don't appreciate your uh, consuming interest in my daughter either. I doubt very seriously that you, Horatio, are friends with Ophelia. It's Ro Romeo. Romeo, ah. Well, if you were true friends, your name would be Hamlet. <laughs> it's very clever. Uh huh. Thank you very much. Now, I, I, I'm really late for lunch. May I, may I uh, escort you out? Sure. Okay. Uh, and, and can you just tell uh, Ophelia that, that I said hi next time you talk to her? I doubt that very much. As far as I know, Ophelia will be in Switzerland for a very, very long time.
my God, that might have been the most profound sexual experience I've ever had. Heterosexual. Oh. Wow. Yeah, it was great. Oh God, I've been fucked like that since fifth grade. <laughs> you started so young, I can tell. Yeah, I'd like to keep this going on all night long. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I keep the flower? You can keep anything you want. As long as you keep me. And my bank account. I like it. Loaded. <laughs> sounds like a little relationship made in heaven. Oh, yeah. You're my sugar daddy. A little tit for tat, huh? Sterling, a word. Gentlemen, thanks for coming back to your office. It's my pleasure to be in my office. I like my office a lot, it's nice. <laughs> We're starting to like it quite a bit too. If you remember, I was saying that I am now the second biggest stockholder at Sterling. <laughs> Who's first? Well, first would be you and your family. That's right. I have to make sure that you don't forget that maxi pad. <laughs> oh no, okay. I remember. I remember very well. You know why I remember? What's that? Well, I've been looking over the financials, Lance, and I don't like what I see. The company's doing great. You guys are running this company into the ground. The company's doing great. Bolivian condominiums? They're doing great. <laughs> there's, a, there's a line item for a Clarence Beaks. I don't know what that is all about. There's a Bernie Madoff line here. Is that a Trading Places reference? <laughs> it might be. That's smart. You caught that. You're a smart guy. There's no Clarence Beaks on this thing. Of course there's not, because there's nothing going wrong. There's nothing strange going on in my company. It's a family company. We've been diversified for years. We are solid. We, we're diversified in lots of, lots of shit. You can lie all you want, Mr. Sterling. You can lie all you want, but Max here, He's too sharp for you. Is He's he been down this path. Listen to Sal. See, the problem with a family company, Lance, is it's family. No one's looking over anything. Then an outsider comes in. Yes, he does. And he starts looking over things, and things don't add up. What are you suggesting, Max? I'm just saying things don't add up. You know how to add. Right, Lance? Uh, 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 one plus one equals two. Oh, I'm you, very aware of you get that, my right? addition tables. Yeah, I can multiply, divide, and I will divide and diversify this company on my own. You better watch your back. Is that right? I don't like your accusations. I don't think they're funny, and my mother would be upset. <laughs> if she thought something was going on with my company, I would know about it. Would you? Yeah, Sal. So you don't want to get in trouble with mommy? Is that it? Mommy's going to take the company away. Don't, don't. <laughs> Mama's boy. Mommy. Ooh. I think we touched something, Sal. Pushed a button there, huh? I think we know something Pushed about this Pushed a guy. button Is there. a man not allowed to love his mother? <laughs> Some men love men. Some men love Boy Scouts. I love my mother. <laughs> and she's a good woman. As far as I'm concerned, my woman is my mother. <laughs> Fine, Oedipus. Uh, the thing is this, I'm gonna have to have a talk with mommy at some point. I'll I know see you're if not I can arrange a meeting. Please do. Would you like to tell me what the hell you need to talk to my mother for? Oh, he'll tell you exactly what he needs to talk to your mother about. Tell he'll him, Sal. tell Sa. you right now. Tell him, Sal. Get close to him. I don't want him to run away. Not too close, Sal. That's my henchman. <laughs> you see, Maximilian here thinks that somebody is embezzling funds from your company. That's right. And 
someone is embezzling funds, <laughs> and it's a family member. Drinking all our money away. Hey. I've had a really shitty day today. Uh. I broke up with my girlfriend. I haven't seen my friend in months. And I got some creepy old guy staring at me while I mowed the lawn. <laughs> Give him a break. He likes Boy Scouts. <laughs> Poor guy. Look, Tell me about this girl. It's just hard talking to you about this. Why? Because I wish that I had my father here to talk ah, to you. Bring this up again. How much am I going to have to endure in one day, huh? How much? How do you think it feels growing up without a father? To have to deal with a drunk mother my whole life? How do you think it feels not even knowing who your father is? <laughs> Try that one out for some. Look, I'm sorry. I just... I'm in love with somebody. And I don't think I've ever felt this way about a girl before. Like glad love? You, yeah. yeah. Love. <laughs> I'm glad you could share it. <coughs> You're all grown up. We don't talk a lot anymore. Uh, you usually miss passed it. out, so it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Not passed out anymore. I know. I'm 30 very, days. I'm proud of you. Do you know what 30 days is? A month. <laughs> Look, Mama, I, I, uh, so this, this girl, um, I'm in a tough situation because I, I, I want to write her, or I want to call her, uh, but she's away at boarding school. Yeah, oh, come here. Tell me all about it. <laughs> I just did. She's at boarding school. <laughs> um. Wait a minute. Boarding school. <laughs> What is this girl's name? Can't tell you, Mom. <laughs> can we... Can we play 20 questions like we did when you were a kid? <laughs> that still haunts me to this day. <laughs> you know what, Ma, I thought you could help me out. And all you do is pose. You can't even look me in the eye and tell me what to do about the girl I love. I can't deal with you anymore. I can't deal with don't, you anymore. Don't run away. Oh, but whatever it is. God, I hope it's not a feeling. It's stirring. <laughs> Desiree, I, I have to thank you. You know, when I when I came into that bar, I was as fragile as a little blue Fabergé egg. Yeah. How do you feel now? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty damn good. See, my, my dad threw himself into a lake. It wasn't really his fault, but nonetheless he did it. I was pretty torn up. Being with you, it just made me feel okay again. I just want to say... Thank you. Ah, ah, get out of here before my son comes back! But one thing, when I come back, then I'll be sure to see it's mad, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why can't I quit you? Yeah. See me, Max? I did, Sal. Uh, I'm getting killed on fantasy football. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Made some bad picks there, I told you. Yeah, I should have never picked up Romo. <laughs> he learned. I see you got your uh, Facebook open there, too, huh? Yeah, I was just sort of uh, tweeting some of the stockholders. Oh, really? I'm friending each one. Ah. Huh? Good thinking. You get you become friends with them. And then you update them. And they, in return. And. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, I see it. I take see over it. the company, yeah. Sal. Take that's, over the, that's, it. that's it, you take over the company. I knew it, yeah, right. No, the Facebook, that's good. I've been, uh, I personally, I've been killing it on Farmville. 
<laughs> Got uh, two cows this morning. Is that right? Yeah. I saw that. I'm gonna play you on Farmville, Sal. I'm moving up. I see you, you, you're, a, you, you're a guy who likes to win. And I'm a guy who likes to win. Nobody likes to lose, Max. Nobody likes to lose. We've been together a long time, haven't we? We've been together a real long time. In fact, uh, I'd say I know you better than anybody else. I'd say that's true, Sal. And I'd say that you've done more for me than anyone else. The question is, are you willing to continue that? I guess that depends on uh, the incentives. I noticed you were uh, pretty interesting in what Mr. Sterling is up to. That guy, he's hiding something. He is, Sal. And that's where you come in. First, I gotta know. What is it that you have against the Sterlings? Why do you want that company so bad? You think I have something against the Sterlings? <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen you be aggressive in business before, but I have never seen you like this. This, this is different. Well, Sal, let's just say that it goes way back, and I'll tell you when it's time. But the thing you need to know is that they will go down. And we're gonna do it. Always. We are. Now, Sal, I know you got two strikes. <laughs> one of those wasn't my fault, the other one, eh, you gotta give him one now. The question is, are you prepared to get a third? Yeah, I think I could do that. Now, I mean, I understand if this doesn't work out, you will go to jail. <laughs> Probably technically prison. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there before, I know my way around. And know this, if you do go to prison, there's not many white guys in there. It's mainly Mexican and black. <laughs> and you will have to be a white supremacist, but... <laughs> I do sort of glow in the dark. When you get out, Sal, you get those tattoos removed, you come back, you work for me. That's a pretty intricate, complicated path, but uh, okay, okay. Let's bank on the fact that this will work out and that uh, Sterling Companies will be yours. I like that. So, uh, positive. yeah, Last exactly. Half full. Uh, you know me, I'm a positive kind of guy. Then it's settled, Sal. I need you to do something for me. All right. I need you to break the law. Watch the brothers make a life, make a living. Why do you want to be with me? I have nothing to offer you. I don't need money. I have money. What I want is constant attention. <laughs> You've made that very clear. Thank you. you get me. Gets weirder every time. So when I was by your window overhearing your conversation with your mom, I couldn't help but overhear you say you were in love with someone away at boarding school. I was just trying to throw her off. Oh, That's, yeah, good. Because my best friend is at boarding school, and wouldn't that be weird? 
<laughs> but it sounds like it's nothing. High fives. What, uh, who's your best friend? Her name's Ophelia. I think we're friends on Facebook. It's a pretty common name. It, it could be anyone. <laughs> Just here doing this. Um, I, 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 the spark's just not there for me anymore. I mean, we had fun. That weekend was great. You taught me things that I didn't even know could be possible, and I'll always <laughs> carry that with me for the rest of my life. But that's all it really was. It, it was a fling. It was a crush. You know. You know what I mean? Like there, we're not in it for the long haul. We're, we're too different. We're on two different paths. Are we though? Yeah. I just said it. We're, on, we're, on, we're on two different paths. Well, everything will change when you hear the news I'm about to tell you. <laughs> Pour me a double, I'm drinking for two. <laughs> <laughs> from high school. <laughs> high school, when you stole my boyfriend. Well, it wasn't too difficult once he knew what you were made of. That cheerleading outfit didn't fool anybody. It fooled him for a while until he found out how wealthy you were and you <laughs> heaved your breasts in front of him constantly. They were nice. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on work. <laughs> At least they're real. <laughs> How's that facelift coming? Have you saved enough money? I'm working on it. <laughs> Work you <harder>. know, <laughs> I'm trying. I got a Mary Kay business on the side. <laughs> Things are going well. Aha, uh -huh. do you have a lot of customers? I got a few. Are you the model? Yeah. Oh. I am. Good luck, darling. <clears throat> I can't interest you? No, I don't do that anymore. Uh-huh. I'll just leave it here by the bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, <clears throat> I came to tell you that I know you are upset about Vincent, but I want you to stop talking about him to my sons, Lance and Pierce. <laughs> Why are you? Are you afraid they're going to find out that he knew me carnally? <laughs> Is that like beef? <laughs> no, it's not like beef. It's like real love. It's like oh, animal sex that meant something. He loved me. Ah, ah, in your dreams, Mary Kay. In your dreams. I do not appreciate that kind of talk, especially in the wake of Vincent's memory. He did not love you. He may have had a momentary lust for you under the bleachers at the high school. Everyone did. <laughs> but I came to tell you that from now on, I think it would be best if you moved out of Falcon Crest. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you don't even know where you are. 
I don't need to know where I am. I own it. <laughs> Scoutmaster for the upcoming jamboree. <laughs> we gotta talk about that shit. But no, that's that's not that's not it. Try again. The board's finally considered my Libyan condominium proposal. God. No. <laughs> well, it's a stupid thing. It's a, it's a, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, I said we can move it to Iraq. <laughs> Try again, Pierce. Now, frankly, I've got nothing. <laughs> Someday maybe you'll have something. As a matter of fact, I had a real interesting conversation with Maxi Pad Millen, the guy that hangs out with the, uh, you know, Italian guy with the hair. You mean the second biggest investor in Sterling? <laughs> yeah, that guy. And what did he have to say? I know he likes to play a lot of games on the internet. And Hangs around with that creepy Italian guy, Sal, all the time. The one with the very tight buttocks that goes right up his leg. <laughs> he said that someone's stealing money from a company, Pierce. You mean like embezzlement? That's right. Embezzlement. <laughs> it's a big word. It's like bedazzler. <laughs> Say, you don't think that our mother would have anything to do with it? I don't know what to think, Piercy, my brother. But here's what I know. Our family business is in trouble. If we don't correct things now, it's going to get worse. What do you suggest? I suggest that I tell you right now why the hell I brought you here. <laughs> Thank God. Tell me. <laughs> I have Dad's will in my pocket. <laughs> what? You've got the actual will in your pocket. No, I have the fake will in my pocket. <laughs> it's the actual will. And have you read this will? No. I wanted to do it as brothers because although we have our differences, and you like to wear really tight fucking shorts, <laughs> I prefer loosened pants. I like the bullets too. You're still my brother. You deserve to see it when I see it. You're damn right. You know what this means, don't you? It means that Quite possibly, you won't be the largest stockholder after we read what that envelope contains. <laughs> well, I am still the largest in other capacities. <laughs> yes, you are quite a large prick. <laughs> Can I read this now, please? <laughs> Serious right Sorry. now with that. <laughs> Little levity. <clears throat> Wine. Pierce. What do you know about poor people? <laughs> I know, brother, that you and I probably would not be very good ones. You better get your wine. 
because our father just left our entire estate to the Jones. <laughs> Mrs. Sterling, uh, th thank you for seeing me. You're welcome, Mr. Doggett. I appreciate your your discretion. Oh, of, of course. Yes, no, no, no problem at all. Um, uh, the, the thing is, um, you had asked for an update on the investigation. Yes, uh, so. I appreciate what you've done for me in the past. I, I know that my husband had extracurricular activities, and I appreciate the fact that you have managed to keep that from the press. Uh, sure. Well, I mean, that, that is part of the job of a private detective. Yes, it uh, is. And, and I pay you handsomely. You may even sit down. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. Here? That would be fine. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, well, um... It's a lovely hat. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a family uh, heirloom. It's sort of it's, uh, Sherlock Holmesian. Ah, I, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm sure yeah. you do. Yeah. So, um, so the thing is, uh, well, um, I have uncovered quite a bit of, of information uh, in the in investigation. Yes. Um, of, you know, re regarding your husband uh -huh. um, and and his, as you call them, extracurricular ac yes. activities. Um, Spit it out. Well, uh, I'm not quite sure how to best present this information to you. I mean, some of it is, is rather disturbing. I can handle it. Just say it. Well, the good news is I can, I can prove uh, what it is that you were, were wanting to, to find out. Yes, um, how? Well, uh, there's, there's phone records uh, and, 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 and photos. Lots and lots of photos. Very, yes. very explicit photos mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, and well and, and uh, you know there's the uh, the personal interviews that I of course had to do uh, yes. with the, yes mm -hmm. of, of course. I've received your uh, so. invoice I know you were quite thorough <laughs> yeah. um, so that's yeah. the good news the bad news is that um, I was also in the course of uncovering that information able to find out some information about his untimely demise Yes. Well, it uh, it appears to involve you. Well, of course it does. It was it was the, the worst day of my life. He was my husband. I loved him very much. Of course, um, but it it appears to involve you, or in the planning yeah. phase. Really? What did you find? Well, that's the thing. Um, you see, in, in this envelope, there's either the information of, about what I found, mm -hmm. or, although you say you pay me handsomely, maybe there's an amount at which there's nothing in this envelope that law enforcement would want to see. May I see it? Well. First, I'd like to talk terms, if... Terms? <laughs> you forget that I'm a Sterling. Actually, I think that's the thing that's foremost on my mind. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Mr. Doggett, dear. Yes? Many people have sat in that chair. And many people have tried what you are trying. And many of them have been less nervous than you are. That's, that's probably true. So, yes. under the circumstances, I'm afraid I have no choice but to discuss the terms. And I, I'd like to be the first to tell you that these are my terms. Uh, Mr. Doggett. Yes, no, uh... Do you have a family? Uh... I'd like to. <laughs> ah. Well, we've all had dreams that didn't come true, haven't we? 
I'm sure we have, but... Uh... Give me the envelope. Give me the envelope. You might want to put that hat on. <laughs> really? It looks so nice. Why? It'll match the blood. <laughs> was right about you. That's right, Romeo Jones. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm literally speechless right now. No, you're not. You were talking as you said that. You said I'm literally speechless when you were saying that. when I went to the doctor and I said, am I pregnant? And she gave me a pregnancy test and it was positive and then she said, yes. <laughs> We're gonna have to get a DNA test. Do you doubt that it's yours? Absolutely. But I don't <laughs> Look, all right, if I wanna be an adult about, you shouldn't be drinking. What is wrong with you? I want my baby to grow up with a tolerance. <laughs> If this child is mine, how, how, how are we going to support the baby? I would give anything to just to, to have money, to be able to support, to do something. That's what I think about all the time. I can't, I, we should just get rid of it. But I have money! You've said that before, but I don't believe you. <laughs> There's a lot you don't believe about me, it seems. But... That this baby isn't yours, that I'm faking the pregnancy altogether. <laughs> that I slept with Pierce Sterling once. I know you think it because I did. <laughs> I think you're doing this just to get me back. And I've told you before, I'm not taking you back. Maybe I don't believe that. Maybe if I try harder, you'll realize you like crazy girls. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I told you I was in love with someone, and, uh... I'm willing to pretend to be her if it means you still fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry, but I just have to say it. I'm in love with Ophelia. Ophelia who? <laughs> Sterling. What? My best friend? With your baby, You're probably. not pregnant. I am pregnant. It you just might not be yours. You did not get a test. I'm in love with Ophelia and I'm going to be with her. I don't care what their family says. I'm going to be with her. I don't want to be with you. You need to get some help. If I'm not pregnant, I'll sneak into your room and steal some sperm and inject it in myself and then I'll be pregnant and that'll be yours for sure. <laughs> I wasn't gonna kiss you. Were, you were totally, look, you, you, you didn't bear, you didn't bear, it looked like get you were gonna kiss me. Get out of my life, get out of my life. Get out of my life. No, don't, get back in, I love you. <laughs> I'm double pregnant. I'm so pregnant I can barely walk. Look at all your babies in me. I want you to go. I want you to go. What if I instead? Oh no! I fainted! What will happen to the babies in my belly? Right. 
Jones. You always have been. You always will be. And now you got nowhere to go. Two weeks for another episode of Scandal Crash.